All right, so we got 0.5x plus 0.2 times 80 minus x equals 5.4. So we need to simplify both sides of the equation before we solve it. And we've got to multiply this 0.2 in against the 18 and then multiply it with the negative x. So it's 0.2 times 18 and then 0.2 times negative x. Now 0 0.2 times 18, let's sit that over here. 18, 0 0.2, right? Multiply, okay? 2 times 8, 16, carry 1. 2 times 1 is 2 and 1 is 3. There's one decimal place in the multiplication, so there should be 1 in the answer. So that is 3.6. 0 0.2 times 18 is 3.6, right? Now 0 0.2 times negative x is negative 0.2x, okay? So that's the first step, um, and then we write everything else out. 0.5x plus that equals 5.4, okay? Now, we keep going until we've simplified both sides of the equation before we start adding and subtracting and dividing both sides. So we can see that there's an x term here and an x term here. We gotta combine those. 0.5x minus 0.2x. Like, uh, yeah, it's a 0.3x. Yeah, exactly. We just combine those. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, yeah. At this point, we can't add, these are not like terms. That's an x term, that's an over, we can't add them. So this side has been simplified. It's time to start solving the equation. So we now this is the point where we can add and subtract to both sides and divide both sides. So we can subtract 3.6 from both sides. See that? All right. 3.6 minus 3.6, that's 0. So sure, we got 0.3x on the left. Now on the right, <coughs> 4 minus 6 won't work. Got to borrow from the 5. That becomes a 4. This becomes 14. Now, 14 minus 6, 8, good. Put down your decimal point because we're subtracting. 4 minus 3, 1. So now we have 0 0.3 times x equals 1.8. So the x is being multiplied by 0 0.3. So to undo that, you divide by 0 0.3 on both sides. See that? These 0 0.3s cross cancel and you're left with x. Over here we have 1.8 divided by 0 0.3. There's a couple of ways of working that out. Um, I'll do two different ways. So I think a lot of students would probably prefer to do the 0 0.3 into 1.8, long division. And they remember, oh, I've got to move this decimal point to the right and also move this to the right because this needs to be a whole number, right? So now I have 3 into 18, which is 6. Yeah, 3 into 18 is just 6, right? So that becomes 6. Now the other way to work this out is multiply the top and bottom by 10. Why? Because if I multiply, I want the whole number on the bottom. If I multiply that by 10, that will move the decimal point to the right. 0 0.3 times 10 is 3, okay? So this becomes 3 on the bottom. And then 1.8 times 10, again, that moves that decimal point one spot to the right, and that becomes 18. So if 18 over 3, which is 6, that's another way of doing it. But that's essentially what we do when we're doing uh, our, our division, long division here, right? So that's the answer, x equals 6, yep.